Hello YouTube, Jamon2005 here with a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the LARP figures, live action role play from the new show, that one episode where they did this and it was awesome. That's right. <coughs> so what we have, we have Raph the Barbarian, Mikey the Elf, Leo the Knight, and Donnie the Wizard. These are so cool. <laughs> um, I love them so much. Uh, okay, so... We have uh, the packaging now instead of, like normally when we have one of these little things, uh, I think they just do them though for the ones that aren't in the show, like the Stealth Tech, if they Stealth Tech down the side. These uh, have live action role play, which I actually just saw about 15 seconds ago, under the name, like Rap the Barbarian. And it includes his picture for whatever reason. Like the, uh, the past packaging, as we've all seen, does not have a picture of the figure there. So I don't know if that's going to be something new going forward, or if this is just for these four turtles. Um, the back, uh, it's got a pretty cool thing there. It's got the background, right? That's real awesome. Like, it's got a, his own little scenery. There's the figure, and then it talks about his, his role play, right? With his axe and his helmet. Um, and it tells you that his helmet's a spaghetti strainer and a shag rug um, for his cloak. That's awesome. Uh, weapons, Big Barbarian Axe, and it shows that he's um, Turtles, and it says based on the TNT episode. Now, when we look at the figures, um, they're listed as LARP, and then their names. So LARP, Leonardo, LARP, Raphael, and let me focus on that. There we go. Um, now, he's listed as Dojo Splinter, right? This is what I was talking about in the Slash review, and then the Battle Shells. Um, so that they, they took uh, Metalhead out, right? He's dead. Spoilers, they took Leatherhead out, he's trapped in Dimension X for the moment, and they took, spoilers, and they took ninjas in training figures off the back there. On this side, um, I don't think they removed a single person, but they did add in Tiger Claw and the Robotic Foot Soldier. Well, they replaced regular foot with Robotic Foot, that's really all they did. Um, but, so that's what you have, so these two um, are going to be next, coming out, so do be looking out for those. Um, and everyone else here is released. So let's uh, keep going, right? Mikey the Elf. If I don't like break everything. Um, his thing, Mikey the Elf picture, right? The same on the back. Um, he's got a little picture they talked to you about his tablecloth cape, um, his pointy ears, his hat, and his bow and arrows. Um, his weapons is an elf bow, right? And of course, all of our figures on the back. These are just so cool. Um, Leo the Knight, right? Uh, and his, he's got his his uh, sword, his garbage can shid, lid shield, if I don't combine the words, um, and his cloak. And it's actually colored differently than the toy. That's a thing. I don't think the other ones had uh, that issue. I'm looking at them right now. No, they're all looking like they're... <laughs> he's colored differently. I think that's more like the show was. But I actually like the toy a little better. Um, medieval sword and shield are his weapons. And then finally, Donnie the wizard. Right? Um, so there he is with his beard and hat. And you can see his cloak looks a little differently than here. The stuff is a little more painted on the packaging. But that's kind of what happens when they go from concept to reality. Um, stuff changes a little bit. Um, and then you see he's got um, his wizard staff, right? And that's what they're telling you. Um, so, yeah, so let's go ahead and go on to the figures. All right, so here's Raph the Barbarian. Um, we get up close, you can see it's just a regular Raph with this fur on him. Um, looks really cool. Now, because of the fur, his arm, his right arm stops here. It can go higher, but it just stops there. Don't go any lower. Um, still got all the articulation that the other figures have previously had, so he still has elbow joints and, um, wrist joints and, um, oh, well, his wrist move? Yeah, his wrist moves that we got to, had to unlock it. It was kind of locked in place, but, um, knees and his leg. Let me look at His leg just does, goes every which direction. So that's cool, you know, you can, you can do that with him. Um, and then when I look on the back, right, he's, his shell still has a painted shell. This part of the shell got painted like the cloak. I don't know why. Like, I don't know if they just weren't paying attention or what. 
uh, because clearly it should be part of that, but that's that's whatever. It's the back of the figure. That happens a lot of times in the back of the figure. Uh, he comes with his barbarian helmet, right? So his spaghetti strainer um, right there, and we can just put that on his head like this, and then his axe right here, uh, his barbarian axe, and we can give that to him, and uh, he can hold it. There we go. So Wrath the Barbarian is ready to role play. Okay. Mikey the Elf. <laughs> he's enjoying this way too much. Uh, he's got the quiver and the arrows on his back. Right, and you can see he's got his little belt on. He's got the, a shirt and his elf tunic. Um... And then the rest of his normal turtleness is, you know, his, his, all his gear is still normal, Mikey. Um, just like Raph, he's still fully articulated. Um, his head, I don't know how, there we got the, like, unstick. But uh, it does all move. He comes with this. It's his elf hat and pointy ears, which would just sit over him like this and look awesome. I think I put it on backwards. I did. I put it on backwards and then showed it off like I'm so proud of myself. Uh, <laughs> you'd think I would know which direction elf ears go. There we go. Uh, and then his bow. Right? He's got his bow and arrow. And we can just put that in his hand. Um, and he can now be like, I'm Katniss, bitch. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> that, that, I don't think Mikey would say that, but it would be really funny if he did. Alright, next up is Leo the Knight. So, it's basically regular Leo with this giant belt on. I'm not sure why the giant belt's necessary. It does stop his arms from going any further down than this. And he's got this big uh, rubber ducky emblazoned uh, cape. Right, and as we showed in the packaging, his shoulders are not painted like they are on, on there. Um, presumably if you pulled the head off, this could come just right off and he'd be cloakless. But that's a lot less fun. Um, still, he oh, articulated every which direction. He does have these like wrist things going on for his barbar for his barbarian. That's the other guy for his knight armor. Um, he does have a knight helmet um, f made of rulers and cardboard um, that can go on his head. And then he's like, "I'm Galactus." Uh, he has his garbage can uh, shield which we can stick into his hand uh, like this right here All right, garbage can shield and his sword which has been like decked out to look a little more medieval as opposed to the katana look um, and look a little bit more like European broadsword uh, his helmet and I don't know if it's just because of the shoulder pads or what um, tends to come off a little easier than the other guys' headgear. Um, I don't know if there's like a trick to it or what, but, uh, you know. So there's, there's Knight Leo. He's like, Knight Power, and I'm a knight. Um, I don't know why he said that, but he, in my head, he just did. I heard him. And finally, Donnie the Wizard, with his big purple, uh, bathrobe cloak thing, that totally reminds me of future Donnie from the comics, and that makes me happy. Um, his, all his you know, wristbands and stuff are not painted. I don't know why. Um, the thing with Leo, I didn't show this. Leo's shell, if I lift uh, this up, his shell is green. Uh, I guess they figured you weren't going to take it off. So they just said, screw it, we're just going to leave it green. So that's whatever. Um, come on, Galactus. Uh, so Donnie... Uh, now, because of the cloak, he does not have any elbow joints. He just has the shoulder and the wrist. Um, but he does still have all the legs, and he can turn his head back and forth. Uh, so that's pretty much all he did to him was just put the big cloak on him. Um, he does come with this awesome like beard uh, with the little like this little bull emblem, and he's got a wizard's hat. We can just stick that on his head. And now he looks like he's Gandalf or Dumbledore. Dumbledore! Uh, and he's got his bow staff, which has been turned into a wizard staff. 
and we'll just slide that into his hand. Um, right there. And now he is Donnie the Wizard, ready to cast magical spells upon even the most fearless uh, mutated pigeons. So that's a thing. Uh, let's spread them out a little more so we can... There you go. Donnie, damn it! So yeah, the LARP turtles. Uh, wh while I wouldn't say it's essential to get them as maybe something like a Slash or a Casey Jones, uh, this was a really fun episode. And if you are as big of a nerd as I am, uh, then I would definitely say to get them because I just think it's it's really fun that they had them do this. And uh, I love these turtles. I think the look came out really good. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're just definitely fun. I mean, Mikey with elf ears is hilarious. So uh, I, I just think they're really cool. It's, it's, a, it's a little side thing that let them make more figures and... Uh, yeah, there's not much else to say about them except the turtles are in costume. Like they're going to go to Comic-Con or something. So, uh, or like a renaissance festival. So until next time, check out the podcast, RiseRangersAndRambles.com, bringing you the latest Toku news and insane turtle discussions in the craziest way possible. And as always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.